ChatGPT is revolutionizing AI world, and how does that affect NLP engineers? There are so many NLP engineers doing building models, building AI models, and those models can be replaced by ChatGPT almost overnight. So what's going on? Let's just uh, discuss this issue in this video. All right, so I'm an NLP engineer, applied scientist, that kind of thing. So uh, I build models, uh, I build language models as well, and ChatGPT is basically a large language model, and I'm building that kind of things as well. Um, a lot of people, uh, my friends, are doing uh, this kind of a similar job. They have very different opinions in terms of how ChatGPT will affect their jobs. Uh, I'm just uh, going to tell you why, why I think about it. Um, so I think ChatGPT will make a lot of... Uh, NLP engineers um, basically lose their job in the long run. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, <coughs> in the long run, uh, you will realize uh, AI is being democratized. Now, in the past, if you want to, let's say, build a sentiment analysis model, you need a team of NLP engineers, uh, you need a scientist, <coughs> you need to uh, do data annotation, so you label data, and you train the model, and you deploy the model. So it's kind of kind of a teamwork, right? Data annotation, uh, scientist, a uh, building model, and the deployment of like a model of model. And I don't care what the titles of each people, but this is kind of basically a machine learning team building a model for your company. Not just the sentiment analysis, any kind of different models for your domain, for your own application. You probably need like six months, three, four months to build one model uh, from end to deployment. But now, most of these things can just be done by ChatGPT. Just one API call. Just go ChatGPT, one API call, everything is done. Even it's like in domain data, in dom very specific domain, ChatGPT can handle quite well, if not better than your specific model. So how would this or like NLP engineers survive uh, when people can just call API call, right? If, if you're the boss, if you're the CEO, would you like rather to like maintain like ten team of ten people or just uh, hire one or two engineers and using ChatGPT? Apparently, which one's cheaper? You go for that, and the uh, ChatGPT cost, API cost will only be lower. Only be lower. Now there's no APIs available, but it's going. It's coming soon, and its cost is going to be only going to be lower. So uh, this is the problem with uh, ChatGPT for NLP engineers. For the short run, uh, the job opportunities will definitely increase because every company that would like to use ChatGPT, they will want to develop something similar to that. And not necessarily they really want to use this technology. They just want to claim they are developing that. So. In the long, in the short run, you will find uh, the job opportunities for NLP engineers, NLP scientists, uh, it's getting more. But for long run, let's say two years down the line, the job opportunities will definitely getting less because people can be far more productive. One person can do uh, five people's job in five now, so why do you need more people? So the job opportunity will shrink. And also depends on if we can develop more applications or different kind of uh, model building need in the future they say you need to build more complex chat gpt models so you may need more engineers but i don't think there will be a case i think there will be more like the demand is there but the supply is more because you one person can do more jobs with chat gpt you don't need people to have machine learning PhD to do sentiment analysis, to do any kind of summarization, um, and yeah, that kind of things. You just need an API call. You just need to know how to write the wrong prompt, which is very easy. So uh, for long run, NLP engineers, job opportunities will be more, will be less, will be less. And long run, I mean like a three, four, five, three, three, five years, you will see this start happening. Now, now, now it's like definitely like in a bubble, but in the future, they will happen. So how would you do? How can you do as an NLP engineer to survive this shit? What you can do is <coughs> you need to learn how to train, how to build models similar to ChatGPT because in the future, me people will like ChatGPT, they kind of things, a lot, a lot of the kind of things, right? So ChatGPT is a heavily used, uh, it's not just language model, it's language model plus much like reinforcement learning. So you need to learn how to use applying reinforcement learning in 
training NLP, uh, language models or other NLP tasks. So learning, reinforcement learning is a very important skill. It's a very important things for NLP scientists, NLP engineers. Why? Because uh, in the past, reinforcement learning is really, really, really used in NLP domain. So not many of us know or are familiar with that. So it's really important to learn that. So that's the solution so far. And uh, I definitely have other solutions for you, but I will be talking about that in the next video. So that's a video for today. If you would like to receive more AI, chat GPT related things, uh, related thoughts coming from NLP scientists, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And uh, other than that, I will see you next time.